Welcome back to the basement yard. Why am I yelling? I don't know. I'm so angry. I can't hear you. Why? Why? Can you hear me now? Can you hear this? Oh, I hear you now. Oh, you yeah, hear that? You turn that bitch up, dude. Oh, yeah. Not too, not too loud. I'm peeking now. Did you just whip? No. Oh. What is that? Uh, the, ne- the nene. Oh, the nene. The nene. Oh, okay. <laughs> the I was just checking. I wasn't sure That's what fine. it was. Um, anyway, yesterday we just we were at the Yankee game. Very fun. Very fun. Uh, my throat hurts a little bit. My throat is killing me, so yeah. if my voice is probably going to crack a record-breaking amount of times today. Do you think at some point that'll just go away? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be on my deathbed and telling, like, my children, I love you. And they're going to be like, just go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, just, just let die. it go. Just, die. just, just die. stop talking. Just Someone die. put a tube in there, yeah. you know? Shut him up. Yankee Stadium was rocking. It was rocking. Night. It was crazy. Yo, my farts today have been absolutely just rancid. That is called... You had a hot dog at the game? Oh, I had a hot dog. That's a hot dog. That is a... Chicken fingers and chicken fries. Chicken fingers and fries. And a couple of brewskis. That's going to throw that anus into a tailspin. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> we are mayday, sir. Mayday, mayday. I'm telling you. Yeah. Did you yeah. take shits in school? Or were you one of those guys that didn't like to take shits in oh, school? Oh, no. I would avoid that at all costs. Yeah. I do that all the time anyway. I mean, in my in my old age. You know what it is? Once you pass a certain age, you stop caring about certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's one of them. You're shitting one of them now? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm kind of like, well, I'm just going to do this. Do you think the older you get, the less you just start caring about a lot of things? Yeah. I mean, things like that that don't really matter. You know, but I, I'm not like some courageous shitter or anything like that. I'm starting it off with shit, by the way. But also, <laughs> I'm not this courage, you know, courageous person that like, you know, sometimes... You had, you had a hard time with courageous. I say. did. It was yeah. a little tough to say courageous <laughs> for a second there. I'm going to turn you up a little bit. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Are you good? I'm good. Oh, yeah. You no, want to start over? No, I don't. All right. Because I didn't know. Cause no, no, no. We're good. I didn't want to mess up the audio. Yeah. Because yeah. then it's my fault. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> People are all team Mean Joe. Week four, guys. Yo, it's it's so funny because after those, we'll get back to what I was talking about, but yeah. I just have to address this, that so many people were like hitting you up and also tweeting the both of us and saying like, don't let Joe talk to you like that. I know. Like, I'm just like, yeah, we're joking. There was. We're joking around, yeah. peeps. Jesus yeah. Christ. D-Hive, I see you. D-Hive. Oh my God. <laughs> Dehive. I got the Dehive out there. <laughs> it's true. That's what we got to call them now. Wow. They protected me. They came out in guns swarms. blazing. Yeah, they were like, "Yo, Joe's like mean, sort of." Yeah. I'm like, I What's was up with joking. Him? He was joking, guys. It's he was right. joking. He told me to say that. Yeah. He hits me. Hey. He hits me. Fuck up. Sorry. Spit in your face. Yeah. Um. I like that. Do you like getting spit in the face? <laughs> Fuck no. I'm just saying. Hey, I don't. Hey. Just saying. Do you? Someone spit in my face? Yeah. No. Not sex stuff. But I think maybe if I was the spitter. That would turn you on. Maybe. Damn. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't if like like it would have to be a very like talked about thing. On the face? Uh, wherever. I think spitting other places oh, is spit- fine. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Oh, that happens. Yeah, that happens. But what I'm saying is like just like a, like a, I don't know. Just I don't know what we should get. It's all. No, no, it's fine. Do it. Do I'm it. Not, not like a hawk, a loongi, like Titanic. A loongi? A loongi. A loogi. Loogi? Yeah. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> a loongi. I put an N? Yeah. I don't know. It's all right. You've probably been saying it like that your whole life. Pro- yeah, I have. <laughs> hawk and loongis. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not talking about hawk and some loogie there you go like rose dawson on the fucking side of the titanic i'm talking about just like a like a like a febreze spray type of you know i forgot about that scene in titanic that yeah, was she, a great she, callback she was letting them go i know rose can she was spitting hard yep you could see it on camera and the cameras weren't even that good back then i'm like geez i could see the hey, girth on that thing not letting you off the hook here you want to you want to spit in the face no 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 i don't want to spit i think you do no i don't I feel like, because to me, I'd rather get punched in the face than spit in the face. Some dude spits Sexually. in my face. No, no, or like wherever. Have you, have you, like growing up, no one ever spit in your face? No, but I'd rather be punched in the face. I'd rather be punched in the face. Getting spit in the face is terrible. Mad disrespectful. Mad disrespectful. But like, that's the thing. Like sometimes during sex, like disrespectful things turn people on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Goddamn right. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like that's why I'm like I'm not saying like this is something I want to do. There's one. <laughs> Got one. Mark it down. Someone go get a pen and paper, mark it down. It's gonna be a long episode. Do you know there's a there's a clip of you on YouTube? A voice cracking compilation of you. I know. Someone tweeted at me and I watched it one time. <laughs> I watched it too. You laughed? Not really. Oh, all right. You're like it was cute, but it wasn't funny. It was cute. Joe, where can they find you? Two. We got two now. <laughs> um, where can they find you? <laughs> what were we talking about before? Talk about spitting. Oh, courageous face. shitting, though. But, like, forget the spitting thing. Though. No, no, we no, no. no. Okay. Uh, the, only, the only thing is, is, what? like, you were saying, like, some people, like... Are into that. Are into so that. So, I'm like, if it came down to it and some girl was like, I'm into this, I'd be, like, open to being the spitter. But right. I probably wouldn't be like, yeah, go ham, spit on my face. I think that's why you're, like, team J-Lo and I'm, like, team Rihanna. Why? Because, like, I, she would disrespect me. Like, she would make me feel like... I want to be that one. I want to be the dominant one. I don't yeah. want to be like, yo, yeah, go ahead, go no, crazy, to get throw di- an elbow at me. I'm trying to get disrespected, though. Oh, you're trying to get hit in the face. Hell yeah. Oh, all right. Because Rihanna would do that. So let me ask you a question. All right. These past three episodes, I've been kind of laying into you in the first yeah, three minutes. That's fine. You got a boner at that table? Fold it down. I don't don't know. You, you don't got to say it. We'll just leave it to the imagination. But just know. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you get a boner right now just from like just just trying no you th- you can- i can't i'm trying right now i can't hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> hold on do you think it's possible for you to get a boner mm-hmm. just by thoughts and just standing here not touching yeah. not like rubbing your legs together trying to get some friction just standing oh yeah you could just get a bony for sure i don't know if i could I need something. Wait, what are you doing? I'm trying. Looks like you're trying to take a shit. I'm trying to get a bone. I'm trying to throw blood down there. You're trying- <laughs> you could easily. I can't. Not right now. I can't. No, I can't. This is why I respect porn stars so much. I need some sort of like friction. Really? I think or, so. Or visual stimulation. Yeah, some yeah. visual stimulation. Yeah. But I'd rather get, I'd rather get dominated. All right. Not like stick stuff in my butt dominated that's a, that's that's that's, <laughs> that's a whole new level of domination like, you can call me a piece of shit oh all right you like know? that you piece of shit yeah what was that that was like a smack. what part of my body is that hitting i don't know not your dick no unless nothing in my butthole i don't understand butthole? How, how no butthole i understand oh i understand but <laughs> i don't understand how guys want to get like their nuts stomped on isn't that weird? I feel like we've all seen videos of that yeah. with like dudes. Like, there's a girl who comes in the room with like high heels, and then she like steps all over this dude's nuts, and he's like, "Ow, ow, oh yeah." <laughs> I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Or like this girl, she's like got thick ass thighs, yeah. and for some reason can kick like Cristiano Ronaldo, and just levels this dude in the balls. I've seen that, video. and he's hooked up to some machine. Yeah, and thing. Like, yeah, 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 and she's just like, like, dude, how do your balls not go? We're we're done with I, this. Can't you shatter a text test testicle? Fuck, you can't even talk because you're so afraid. I know. Or horny. Not both. Are you being bonered? afraid and horny is probably like one of the best combinations you could be because <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen. Afraid and horny. Yeah. In what situation would you be afraid of and horny? I don't know, but that sounds. It's like a good title for something. What, like about to have sex, but also like, did someone just break into my house? Yeah. Afraid and horny. Or no. someone opens the door on you. While if you're I'm afraid. scared, my dick, my dick is a is a pussy. You know when my dick would get soft when you put a condom on your penis. It's a whole process. Yeah, because it's like you forget about sex, and you're like, ugh, is this side is this it? Yeah. Do I, how do I? Do I squeeze? Do I? Squeeze the reservoir. Is this the res- reservoir? Start, start reading the. <laughs> yeah. It says roll it on. Oh, well, okay. I'll do it. Condoms are weird. I hate the fucking. Why can't we just go. Pa. You I know, know what I mean? Something to stick on and it just suction cups. You know what's weird? Dental dam. That stuff. It's like. What is it? I don't know. How does it work? It's like a, basically it's like wearing a glove on your tongue. Wait. I thought. Wait, what? Yeah, it's like you eat. You can eat a girl out with 
like a uh, thing on your mouth. Like it's like, but it comes through. It's like it's like a latex glove for your tongue. Wait, hold on. Yeah, look it up. Dental. This dick. is. Oh, I thought you were about to start jerking it. No. Uh, what you thinking? My dick's on my back. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, maybe. No, I don't know. Um, dental dam. It's called. I know it's called a dental dam, but I'm 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 saving my reaction because. Wait, what the fuck? I thought dental dams go in the vagina. No. See, I'm too, I'm too old to think this. Thing. I know. That's I'm like, too old to have this. That's wrong. an eleven year old's answer. Yeah. That's like at a lunch table where they tell you like, nah. Uh. Yeah. Dude, I, I really thought that. It's I have a, to look it up. Yeah, it's a bunch of beavers that go into your girlfriend's vagina and they build a dam. Wait, what is going on? So wait, you're you're having sex with like just like a You're not having it's for oral sex only. A what? Yeah. I this is all so news. it's like it's like a, a, a safety sheet cause so like you can't transfer your herps. So you're making out with a a glove that is touching a puss. News to me, dude. Yeah, man. News to me. Yeah. I did not know this. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of yo, stuff about sex. This is you need I'm to too old. About. I'm too old to think that. I'm That's stupid. Right. I'm here for you. I'm yo, I just figured out I'm dumb. I've never seen Dental Dam in person though. Like in a store. Like I would understand <laughs> why you don't know what it is. Why did you say I've never seen <laughs> Dental Dam as if it's some guy? Well, like if you're going to buy like condoms and stuff. Yeah. It's like, all right, these, these. I definitely don't fit in these. All right, there. Yeah, that's oh, gonna look dental like, dam. That's I'm not looking for that. Isn't buying condoms the absolute worst? Yes. It's such a weird thing. Yeah. It's like, it's just weird how normal it is, but how awkward it is. I have to be like, oh, and like, because you always like, even if you're only going to buy condoms, you got to get some other stuff to like. Cover your chest. Yeah, you need some gum. Just like uh, Tic Tacs, uh, Winter Fresh, Trojans, Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. You, you like just, Fire and Ice? You just fart? No. Oh. You made a fart face. Yeah, because I was confused by your Fire and Ice comment. Who no. the fuck would, would want Icy Hot Dick? Well, first of all, I haven't worn a condom since Nam. So. Right. It's been, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Thank God you wore him over there, though. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what was going on? Have you I ever hit- got an STD test? Yeah. You have? Yeah. They put that thing in your pee hole? See, I haven't gotten one of those. No. But blood stuff. Blood stuff. Yeah. So they didn't take a look at your Johnson or nothing? Well, they've looked at it. Yeah. But they haven't stuck the thing in there. No. Thankfully. One day. Huh? What? I hope not. No. No, I mean, you get them. You got to get... You know, whatever. Blood tests are no so nerve wracking too. Like every time I get a blood test, I'm like, I'm like, well, I'm a little dizzy today, and then I, I look it up, and I'm like, well, it could be malaria. I could never give blood. Why? Because I'm afraid. What you got trash blood? No, not not that I have trash blood. <laughs> I don't know. Just like knowing that much blood is coming out of me. I told you the story when I went and they took my blood and I looked. Looked at what? At that at the blood coming oh, okay. out. And you passed out. Yo. So I'm in the hospital. Wait, why does that freak people out? Because I don't like blood, but that stuff doesn't freak me this out. This is what happened. This is what I happened. have to look. Usually I don't. Usually I don't. But I went to the hospital and I was having some respiratory issues. I couldn't breathe. I was having an asthma attack. Uh huh. So when I went there, they, you know, they do all the stuff. They take your vitals. They take blood. Yeah. So my heart rate was around like 72, 73 when I was there. Okay. As soon as I looked at the blood... Coming out, my heart rate dropped to 43. So I was going, I was fainting. I was fainting. Oh, yeah. And as I was fainting, everything was closing. I was just like, call my mom. Because I thought I was dying. Did you fall out of the chair? I fell back into the thing. I said, I thought I was dying. Because once I went to pass out, they rushed all these nurses in here because the thing starts going, scoot, 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 scoot. I'm like, I'm dying. I'm dying right now. <laughs> Sorry. This is yeah. This is funny. No, 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 no. It's funny now because yeah. I'm not dead. Right. But I go in there. I, I'm already having a hard time breathing. I'm feeling like I'm going to die. And they're like, it's fine. We're going to take your blood. You're okay. I'm already panicking. Yeah. And blood pressure drops. 
heart rate drops <laughs> to critical level. Yeah. That's what happens when you faint. Right. Everything's going off. I see nurses running from that room, from that room. Now everything just gets tingly. Now I'm just full of tingles. And everything, cool. everything's closing. And the last thing I was saying was just call my mom. Because I was like, I'm going to die now. And then I woke up like three seconds later and they were like, dude, you're fine. <laughs> Here's some abuterol. I would have I would have loved to be in the room when you woke up. Is this heaven? Yeah. Basically what I felt like. Have you ever fully passed out? Multiple times. It's awesome. It, uh, But not a lot of time passes by where I'm like, like I know I'm fainting. Yeah. I fainted enough times to know like. Oh, I'm oh I'm going. I've never fainted before. That's why I thought I was dying. Fainting is so whack. Yeah. I used to faint all the time in church. I know you told me, and then I I, I looked into fainting. It's very rare. Fainting? fainting? Yeah, fainting is rare. Yeah, but I think you can manifest it. Of course. Like you're just like, oh shit, and then when you when you to scare yourself and you start hyperventilating, it's like <sighs> control your breathing, yeah. otherwise you're going down. You're getting those flashbacks right now. Yeah. But like speaking of manifesting, okay. You, we in Houston. They have this. Well, they were trying to get this robot sex brothel started. No, you're not into it. First of all, this is step one into the human race being depleted. Could you be, don't yeah. make robots. You don't make them. Get it, get out of the, no robots. Once I saw like that Twitter video, someone fucking created a robot that could run. I was like, I don't want any part of this. Run? What are we doing? Open the door. You see that one that can open the door? Why do we need it? I don't need it. We have, there's like billions of people. I have perfectly good arms. I could do things. I can grab this. You know what I mean? I want to feel that. I don't need a fucking robot. Why are we making them? I don't know. But anyway. So it's a sex robot brothel. In Houston, they tried to make this thing called a uh, robot sex brothel. Now, my question for you is... Okay. Is that cheating? Fucking a robot? Yeah. I'm going to come in with a hard no. I think I'm also going to come in with a no. Right? It's, it's not real. It's, it's an inanimate object. It's a tool. Is jerking off cheating? No. Is using a flashlight cheating? No. What's the difference? Is watching porn cheating? No. I don't think so. Actually, I know it's a no. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Otherwise, we're all out here just... Just cheating it up. Cheating it up. Cheating it up. Big cheat fest. Also, girls fucking slap their thing. Yeah, I know. You know? Take it easy, but... Sorry. Uh, But... Would you... Would you... One, would you ever go? Would I go to a You know what? Let's, let's stay back to say... Let's stay on the topic of you don't think it's cheating. Yeah, I don't. Do you think that it should be legalized then? That there actually should be a robot sex brothel? No. Do you think that crosses the line? I think that when the less robots, the better. Why give them faces? Who manifests these ideas? People who are not getting actual vagina. You think that, yeah, that's it. Why would you create, why would you feel the need to create fake vagina? If you were getting real vagina, you're like, I'm good with this. Like, it's I, alive. It right. does stuff. You know what I mean? It's I great. See, it's it, attached to a person who talks to me that has emotion. Yeah. Robot vagina. That's just a thing. It's just a cold piece of metal. And you're paying to go into a room and fuck this thing. Yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm all set. I'd rather go to a real brothel. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're gonna go out of your way to sneak into a robot brothel? That's even creepier. That's even creepier Dude, to me. just imagine. That's even creepier to me. Dude, just imagine for a second walking into a brothel. You open the door. The guy's like, yeah, it's room 19 down the hall. And you're like, thank you so much. It's like dark and there's like black lights. So you're like, <laughs> shoestrings are like lighting up. And you walk down and you open the door and there's just a doll in it. Like, <laughs> hello, Joe. Or maybe it doesn't talk. Maybe it just lays there and you're like, hey. <laughs> Hello. You want me to? You want me to get undressed? Oh, it's weird. It's weird. It's like it would be like having sex with someone who's asleep. Yeah, unless they like talked. They were like, "Fuck me, so right." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Big Daddy, keep giving it to me harder, harder. 
deep in that robot snatch. Oh my god, fuck my ass, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not fucking robots, dude. That would, that would be like, you know, they shouldn't talk. If you were, say you're just walking down, walking down Vegas Strip. Yeah. I had a couple drinks in you. And some big titty robot. And there was somebody out there being like, yo, there's a brothel in here of like robots that you could fuck. Are you even going to think about it? I would be more inclined. I wanted to see it. I'd want to see it too, but I don't think they'd let you see unless you pay. Yeah, it's true. You know? Like it'd be different if like I would I would be more inclined to do it if they were like they're sex dolls. Yeah. But calling them robots, I yeah. feel like there's a lot of moving parts. I know. And danger involved because what if you get in there and all of a sudden malfunction? I a a, a bead of sweat drops from my head and hits like the, the fucking mi- mitochondria of this thing <laughs> and it short circuits and then the vagina just ha! <laughs> fuck me so. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me now. Yeah, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> what speed is this on? And then your dick gets caught. I wonder if they can come, the robots. Probably not. They probably have like a timer. Like yeah. after seven minutes, it's like, I am going to. I am going to come. Oh, daddy, that was so good. So good. Amazing. Do not stop. I'll call you later. But no, I, I would want to see it. I would vote no on it, too. Also, just think about how, like, how are you cleaning these robots? Oh, they're getting in there. What, you stick, like, a fire hose in it? No, because <laughs> they, they would have to meet, like, a sanitation level. Like, people would have to come in and, like, check their sniz, like, robot sniz. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you would have to switch it out every single time. Yeah. Or would it be, like, a doctor's office? Like, they just have, like, a piece of paper that they just pull over. That's three voice cracks. I'm like, afraid. yeah, that's three. This is getting closer and closer to Westworld. Which, Westworld, for people who don't know, Westworld's a show where, do you pay? Yeah. Yeah, you pay. You pay, and you get into this this Western world, and it's as if you're yourself, and there's people around, and they're yeah. like robots, though, that but they, look like but, people, feel like people. Yeah. And you can fuck hookers, and you kill can people. kill people. You can do everyone. You can rob trains. You can get arrested. You can do all these things. I would do that. Hell, I'm fucking mad hookers in the Wild West. Now, is that cheating, though? Because they're... It's whatever. Because, like, they're more real? Yeah, they're fake. It's true. It's not cheating in this world. I just killed a guy. Are you going to go arrest me? No. If I can't get arrested in this world for killing a guy, I damn sure I'm not going to be called cheating because right, I'm fucking so think a about, fake hooker. Think, think about this, though. I'm you, banging you, those hookers. Say, you, say you're, you're, you're married, right? I'm banging the hookers. No, no, no. Say you're married. Yeah. And you go there with your wife. Are you going to let your wife get thrashed by a robot? Go go fuck the sheriff. I don't care. (laughs) It's fire. Why why would I care? But I'm banging 30 hookers up here. Yeah. In a bathtub. Just like drinking whiskey and fucking them all? And you know how much it costs? $3. Or not even $3. Like four coins. Yeah, shillings. Yeah. Like how much you got? And it's like, well, you got a girl. She'll bathe you, suck you. And the horse is out front. You're like, this is great. I mean, great. Yeah. I would love to live in that world. So that's not cheating. No. If anything, I think that would keep marriages alive. Elaborate. I'm saying, like, imagine, like, you had a tough day. You and your wife are fighting. You're like, let's just go. Let's go kill people. Let's go suck a cowboy's dick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the Wild West, the fake world of Wild West. Kill a couple hookers or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's, on, tr- let's, let's go on the run. Yeah. Let's be Bonnie and Clyde. You, you you pay for a hooker. She comes up. You think you're they think you're having sex. Your wife comes out of nowhere. Bang! Kills the hooker. You guys go on the run. Yeah. Now the sheriff's looking for you. It's all fake. It's if true. they kill you, they shoot you. Whatever. You pay. You 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 get out of the game. Let's rob a saloon and like have sex in it. I'm down. Let's rob a bank. Go get the horse. Tie the horse up to the bars, and just ride it out. And we'll knock this whole war, wall down. You know what I mean? And then I'll run into the bank. Grab all the money, fuck a hooker in there, and then we'll we'll split. Yeah, West Westworld would be dope. Hell yeah, that'd be yeah. awesome. I'm banging those hookers. Hell yeah, because they're real people in a fake world. Are you? Am I losing you? No. Okay. There's enough. There's enough. I think it's outside. It's the opposite. It's fake people in a real world. It, ooh, I just blew your mind. Yeah, you did. You just blew my mind. Uh, but especially yeah. the fucking generation that we live in now. We're talking about fucking. Fake robots and having sex with them, fucking. Nah. 
people doing documentaries on fucking YouTubers. Oh my god. You seen it, right? Hell yeah. I cannot figure out if it's fake or not. What? If it's like a mockumentary. No. It's real. Hold on. Let me just give context for people. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I jumped the gun, but So, there's this big YouTuber. He's been like a big person, he has mad subscribers. This guy Shane Dawson and uh he is filming a documentary uh, he did one on this guy Jeffrey Star, who's like this. Uh, that was like the racist trans guy. He's a racist trans. I guy. think he. I think he had some like racist stuff that he said. Oh, I don't know. Like I, Kim I, Kardashian defended him or something. I didn't know. I don't know if he's trans or like. I don't know. Might just be gay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But he's like insanely rich for whatever. He's a successful dude. So there's a documentary that he did on him, and it got millions of views. Like it did insanely well. But I didn't haven't seen anything of that. Oh, I didn't know he's done documentaries before. Well, I think it was just him. All right. To my knowledge, I don't know. Okay. But then he did, he's doing a documentary on that kid Jake Paul. And it's so absurd. Yeah. Like it's just like ridiculous. Like I tried to go into it with as open of a mind as possible. Yeah. It's so over the top. Yeah. Dramatic. I, he could he could have done he could have like if it wasn't as crazy as he makes it seem. I know. Because his biggest thing is he's trying to like prove that he, Jake Paul's like a sociopath. Yeah, but like every time they say the word sociopath, it's like he, it's a sociopathic trait. He's like, yeah. Oh my god! And he's like, it's like, like, the, like it's like, like, like scary like, music. Yeah. There's literally a cutscene in it, like random cutscenes, and it's a picture of a doll. It's a, a a video of a doll laying down, and then a doll like blurry in the background, and someone taking a knife and cutting the doll in half. I'm like, what is what is this? That's what's making me think it's fake. No, it's real. Because he had actually, I think he addressed it in one of them where he's like, I realized I was making it like too, blah blah blah. Because it was just like it was insane. That documentary is terrible. For a documentary, yeah, it's awful. I mean, it looks like a person who's doing YouTube is doing it. Right. It's not like, you know, there's a bunch of money behind it, which I don't expect it to No, be. no, no. But I'm saying it's like, not that I want to see a documentary on Jake Paul either, but it's almost like I feel bamboozled if it's fake. I don't think it's fake. It's just poor, I think it's, it's dramatic. Just, it's just poorly produced. I know. I just think that there's no point. Like, what are we getting? Like, what was the whole original point of this? I know. Well, like, the original point was to show you how these, how... You know, if these kids are like weird, of course they are. Yeah, dude, like, it's all questions we know the answers to. Not only that, but it's like, so I just I would love to ask uh, Shane Dawson and be like, what was your original reasoning, like to show that he's a psycho or show that he's a sociopath or whatever? And if he goes, yeah, I'd be like, you don't even need to. I know. Yeah, we know. I know. Kids nuts. Kids nuts. Obviously, he's nuts. You know? Sure, he's social. We talk, dude. I spent the last five, six years talking to a camera. Right. Right by myself. Do you th- do you think you have any sociopathic traits? Like for, for I think there's something. It's more narcissism than anything. I agree with you. Because it's been me, 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 me for so long. Yeah. So, but it's, but I, the only, re, like, I tried really hard. Like, I went out of my way to make sure that I separated my, like, real life from that. Because I don't want to blend and be this guy who only cares about himself. Right. And is so worried about his image. Because I'm not at all. No, it's, I don't think you're worried about your image. But a part of you is definitely worries about how you come off. I, but I'm slowly, like, really don't care. Right. Because I, I don't think... You know what it is, I too? Just saying, I don't like, think to there's think, anything to, like, in there. To not care about your image. Because I don't 100%. care. 100%. But, like, I, you know, the reason why I don't care is because I know I'm not, like, a malicious person or, right. like, a dick. So it's like, dude, just do your thing. Like, and if, if people don't like it, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, the meanest guy in the world or, like, whatever, you know? Well, even though, like, your YouTube, though, like... I guess people kind of took you as that you might have been, like, that character. Like what we talked about before, like how like this guy like really hates the people in Walmart. Like you don't, yeah. like you don't. Yeah, no, obviously. No. Yeah, it's like I think those fucking Paul kids, if they're faking it, they're they're great at. It. I can tell you right now. I don't know who told me this, but they're not faking it. 
Like they they are really like that. Like they they're insane. Yeah, they really are who they portray online. They really feel that way. Uh, I, and I'm like, how can a person more power to them? I guess no, but, no power to them. No, no. But I'm just saying, like, to let the world see you like that. It's been working. It's been working. You know what it is, and that's what people say all the time too. And a lot of things, like when I have an opinion about something, people online will be like, "You're just mad because he's more successful." I'm like, "Why do we keep chalking it people up to have that?" Said that to you, of course. I, this whole fucking thing of like, it got, has to be measured by success because you make YouTube videos too makes zero sense. Well, it even has nothing to do with the fact that I make YouTube videos. They say that to anybody. I know. It's like, yo, you're just irrelevant. It's like, yeah, but that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I love how people say like. They throw the word irrelevant around. They love it. They love the irrelevant. What is that about? Word. I don't know. Cause like I don't really like hold anyone. Like yo, you're relevant. All right, you you. I want to hear your opinion. Like I I, I don't care. What makes you relevant? Like why the fuck would I talk to like, Derek Jeter, about anything that yeah. you know what I mean? What the fuck? Do, I don't care who you are. Right. You know baseball. You don't know this shit. Yeah. Like I don't care how irrelevant irrelevant you are. It makes no sense. Do you think the current state of YouTube is kind of what turned like turned you off kind of from YouTube a little bit? I just I just think it's over. I think YouTube's done. Yeah, I think that or at least for what I was doing is over. And yeah. that's why I stopped doing it. But it also just wasn't that enjoyable. And I also like hated the negative connotation that comes with being a YouTuber. Because I can't even like look at it anymore. It drives me insane. Especially yeah. on Instagram now. Like all these kids, like and I tweeted about it this morning, actually. And I said these What'd kids are. Say? I said these kids are so self conscious that they can't even go outside without their Givenchy, fucking, t shirts. Yeah. That are like fifty five hundred dollars. You can't even go outside, because you're so self conscious about it. Like I have to be super fresh. Yeah. Like I saw some kid wearing Gucci shoes, Gucci socks, backpack, shirt, and shorts. This outfit cost maybe four grand, more, more, six grand, seven yeah. grand, and it's like. But like, why? Yeah, why? You can't. It's just you can't. I feel like out there, you re, like it's huge. Like people th use the word clout. That drives me insane. I hate how big of clout is. Clout now. is awful. Clout chaser. Yeah. Anytime you have a difference of opinion, oh, you're a clout chaser. It's like no, actually, the person who is very popular is doing something that is stupid, and I have an opinion about it. Just like I have had opinions about everything else in the world yeah but now i'm a clout chaser because i'm talking about something that's very irrelevant uh yeah like the fuck it, it, clout is the new hater yeah oh god it drives me sick. oh you're a hater i hate la and i hate all youtubers and anyone who has any kind of social media presence chances are i would say like maybe 80 percent of people i'm like you guys are weird as fuck yeah because this is not how the real world is no it's like just you guys and you like live to to impress eleven year olds. That in itself is weird. Yes, you know to be what like, I mean. Yo, like my demographics, like eleven year olds. I'm like, ill. Not only that, but it's just like, no, it, no, yo, not, who, not, who I, are you flexing on? Like, yeah. they don't have jobs. They're in middle school. <laughs> like, why are you driving your Lambo? Like, yo, haters will never like. Whatever. Yo, the people hating on you are eleven. Yeah, buy my merch. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. dudes are like, yo, I got mad haters. It's like, yo, it's just random Twitter accounts that are like Harry Styles, like left finger yeah. is like they're at. And it's, it's like, yo, this is the person you're flexing on? As a 14-year-old boy. Yeah. Like the fuck? It's weird, dude. Like that's a weird concept. And being so self-conscious about the opinion of a 10-year-old a ten that you have to go out and buy a $500 shirt Lord. and you can't be seen like with without being super fresh. That's that's weird to me. Yeah, How I mean, I, I like I like being fresh, but I'm not like that. That's oh. like insane. That's that's wild, is what it is. Other but it's like, yo, it's it's one thing. I'm not saying like, yo, don't get your Gucci shit and don't like. Well, I got a Gucci wallet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to have those things and to buy designer shit. That's not what I'm talking about though, because you are able to step outside and look like a mess. Right. And just be like, whatever. But like, if you're 14 or 15, you shouldn't have anything Gucci. Yo, and they have mad shit. Their backpacks, they want like that MCM shit. Yeah. It's got like rhinestones in it. I'm like, what the fuck? You look like a cowboy with this shit. Dude, I saw a video of Jacob Sartorius' live show. It's so bad. 
And these <laughs> girls lose it, lose their minds. Yeah. They lose their minds. And here's the thing also. So someone like Jacob Sartorius, right? Shout out. He follows me on Twitter though. So Yo, but the thing is, at least that kid, because originally it, he was, there was nothing no. that he was doing. He was literally tweeting pictures of himself like, good night girl, you look so good. And like doing musically. Yeah. And it's like, yo, wh- who are you talking to? Or like, why are you doing that? Yeah. But he's a child. Right. I expect a child to do that. Right. I, I think I did that when I was younger. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Who didn't do that? But at least now he's like, okay, he's doing music. Yeah. And he's trying. And to he's be doing a real shows. profession. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. Whatever. But the other side, it's like. It's too much. And dude. You also, you, one I've of those seen, songs is a banger though. Hell yeah. It's called. Cool. Uh, I used to know the name of it. I know all the words to it. One of his songs, I know all the words to it. Yeah. Sartorius got some heat. He's got he's got hits. And I, he did, I tweeted and he did, that one And he night. dated Millie Bobby Brown. Not too bad. A little bit of 11 in his life. Yeah. Good for him. Shout out Sartorius. Yeah. Can't sing, though. God, he's awful. <laughs> <laughs> he's so bad. I think... Um, what the fuck was I going to say? It looked like... I was so distracted by the fact you said Millie Bobby Brown, and then I said not too bad. But I was referring to her like her status. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got you. She's got a you. child. No Drake shit. No, no Drake. Drake shit. No Drake. You no know Drake. what I'm saying? I'm not no texting her. Like, no. that shit is weird as hell. But anyway, yeah, we bring that up. I think every show. I know. It's just, let's not it, forget Drake texted a 14 year old that he misses her. Let's just move on. Though. Let's just not forget that. Though. Let's just move on. Let's not forget it. Let's keep it in our hearts. But let's move yeah, forward. No, but um, <laughs> like he looks like he's like singing at like a talent show. Yeah. Did you ever enter a talent show? No. You never did a talent show? Did you? I did like a like a like I like break danced once and I couldn't even dance. What? Yeah. You did break dancing? Yeah. And I was Can in like Can you break dance? Nope. Can I was you in, spin on your head? Uh, nope. It was terrible. Can you do it now? No. I was in third grade. You broke dance? Yeah, I didn't know what else I was gonna do. People wanted me to sing. I was like, I'm not going to sing. I'll just dance. Was it just you? It was just me. And I just crashed and burned in front of my entire school. <laughs> Third grade. I'll never forget it. It's one of my first horrific memories of my entire you life. You broke and danced. I broke and danced. You break dance. But I did win a, a dance battle at a bar mitzvah. Yeah. Did you break dance? No, no, no. I just danced. Like I was popping and locking. Like It was one of those moments where I hit everything. Everything just like the stars aligned. I beat this kid so bad he went in the bathroom and cried. Fucking served him. Did you do like you got served shit? Like pick up his shirt and be like, all of that. Oh man. Fucking dusted shit off of him, sunned him. <sighs> yeah, man. So I redeemed myself years later, but yes, I, I did enter a talent show. Frankie was in a talent show once. I know. And he did a dance, a choreographed dance. And he also like lip synced the words the whole time. <laughs> And do you know what song it was? No. I don't know the name of the song, but I can tell you right now, it was a Pokemon song. <laughs> and I guarantee Frankie knows all the steps and all the lyrics. So the next time he's on, I'm just going to surprise him with that and be yeah. like, yo, do the fucking the Pokemon, Pokemon dance. Team. Yeah, <laughs> from, from, the, from the talent show. It was him, I think my buddy Lawrence, and this other girl. Kids, uh, got, kids got star quality. Yeah, Frankie's been a star his whole life. I miss Frankie. I miss Frankie too. But... um. Maybe we should have a maybe we should have a San Agato Studios talent show. Oh my god, what would I do? You could do stand up. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to do something else. Frankie would win. <laughs> maybe. No, you singing would be hilarious. Yeah, probably. but Frankie doing like opera would be hilarious. Yeah, which he'd probably do. Yeah, I think I think he, just off creativity alone, he'll he'll come in hot, super hot. Way hotter than probably I'm comfortable with. We should definitely do that karaoke challenge, though. What is that? Me, you, Frankie. Oh, because I have the karaoke machine. Have the karaoke machine. Yeah. See see who... And then let, let the people choose. <laughs> let the people choose. Let no, them choose. No one's going to choose me. Actually, they might. I get really into karaoke. You would have to definitely drink. There's no way you're sober singing. Why not? Joe. What? I think you hit your best notes when you're a little buzzed. I so do I, but I'm, you know. You could now. Now I got to prove a point. It's true. I'll just chug waters. <clears throat> Tea and honey. Tea and honey all the way. Shit! I saw Mariah Carey drink that once. 
So I'm going to do that. <laughs> you see that meme that they're saying Mariah Carey looks like Michael Myers? No. You haven't seen that yet? Oh, no. my God. It's hysterical. You got to look that up. I've heard that Mariah... <laughs> <laughs> Four voice cracks, son of a bitch. Um, I've heard that Mariah Carey is like awful. Yeah, I've heard that too. Man. I'd still do that though. Yeah, for sure. She was like, dude, remember I used to like, be in love with her. Heartbreaker video. Heartbreak, you, you got, got the best of me. Oh, I. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. If you didn't go to the Did game last night, you would have hit that. Run your game on me. I should have known right from the start. You go and break my heart. Whew. Damn, we're going on the road. Yeah, we gotta drop an album. Yeah. Uh. No, but um. And what was the other song she had that was so far? I just got always be my baby. And a linger. Too much. Yeah, it was way a lot. too high. Was I was peaking. I was fine. I needed something there. No, no, no. It's fine. The engineer Mar- will Mar- fix that. Yeah, yeah. Engineer will fix it. You got that? All right, they got it. They're on it. No, but um, if you really think about it, do you think that meme culture, like, cause cause the Mariah Carey. Michael yeah, Myers yeah. meme culture. That those memes that are coming out now, but like we got them memes. Have you seen those? Yes, they're literally my favorite things. Right Ladies now. and gentlemen, we, we got, got them. them. <laughs> the fucking Yo, SWAT. Do you know what's great? Though, like, whoever came up with that is a fucking genius. Yeah, there. Yo, meme culture is the greatest part of the internet. I think meme culture is the best. It, it hands down is the most untouchable. Yeah, part of the internet. It's so funny because like even ones that came out yesterday with the president's uh, the president alert, yeah, they were hysterical. Yeah, like the internet how can people is be this fu- I, How can people be this funny? It's so it's so crazy because you're that just goes to show you like every like everyone has the opportunity to be hilarious, which is awesome. Even if it's only one time, it's that's, so worth it. That's why. I love the internet. Yeah, it's because one day a normal person could just get something so funny. The entire world gets behind it, and everyone shares it, and you're just a normal person. Those but memes, everyone's watching your thing. It's I don't know how someone goes through the process of finding these random videos. I know from like the '70s, and then just piecing them together with these music and like. And it's crazy how some it's like, me- uh, for what? If you had to do like a meme Mount Rushmore, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Crying Jordan. I hate that. I know, but like you have to. I don't think so. You don't like that one? I I couldn't even tell you like the most popular memes. There's so many. Because like off the top of my head I can't do it, but if I saw them I'd be like, "Oh, this one's definitely yeah. like." It's crazy, dude. Yeah. Memes are en- enormous. <sighs> the internet. I fucking love it. I would say Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking coming through the ceiling and shit. You know why the you know what yeah, I mean? Hey, I'm going back to it, but I'm just saying, fucking uh, Drake, yeah, and the 18 year old. Yeah. That was the first time I saw that meme because mm. there's a song that's <laughs> playing, which is a fire song. Yes, I thought I had it all together. <laughs> like that song, so good, is so good, and it's so like obscure that like where did you fi- how did you know how did you know to put that one in there? I don't yeah. know. That's why everything has to come together so perfectly, or it's not. And they do it off. all the time. It's crazy. But the meme was like they were showing Drake with this girl, and it said something or whatever, and they were hugging, and like he took her out on a date. Yeah. But then she has a picture from 2016, and it was her eight. She's 18, so she had a picture from 2016. When she was 16, 17, uh, 16, 16. Yeah. And there was a picture of them together, and it was like something whatever, and then they're just <laughs> showing the date. <laughs> and then showing her age now. And then they show the guy at the press conference, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And there's just like a bunch of, like a compilation of people kicking down doors, like SWAT teams. Oh, my God. You want to know another one of my favorite ones was? Oh, my God. It's Jason Bourne. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that shit. Those were some of the best ones. Oh, my God. It's just- <laughs> Oh, that guy cutting the fucking water bottles with the sword. Oh, my God. It's Jason Bourne. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to look it up amazing. now. I have to look it up. Oh, now. my God. It's Jason Bourne or the... the. I'll say best memes of all time. Yeah. 
There, there's that one with the guy on the phone. The yeah, the black dude on the phone. Black dude on the phone. Uh, well, these are like the OGs. Remember, when there's just pictures of people. Yeah. Oh, I always love the one too with the ghetto kid. With the hat on backwards and like the furry like oh the white kid yeah yeah like yo can I borrow your car <laughs> <laughs> like like I'll bring it right back yo you know who's a big ass mean the catch me outside girl yeah damn son she's but going he, on tour she's making music and shit she's got a record deal whoever I don't know who reps her but whoever got her dialed in is fucking agent of the year yeah yo because that girl is trouble hell yeah and i think <clears throat> she's too young to get into trouble now but it's gonna happen i just think that like the fact that someone like this person might be smarter than scooter braun yeah because justin bieber like scooter braun found him online and like whatever and ended up being justin bieber but at least you started with a, an amazing starting point. Yeah. It's like this is a kid who's a good looking kid and he's very talented yeah. and he could play guitar, play drums. He had all this stuff going for him. He's like, I can work with this and I could get people. You were starting with a meme and basically this girl who everyone hated. Yeah. And then poop, you literally a poop sandwich. And you <laughs> and you now have turned her around to being followed by millions of people. And it's like a rap star. Yeah. Not, I mean She's making money off a of rap. She's a millionaire easily. I'll be honest with you. Some, of, some of the songs, most genius stuff. Some of her songs aren't the worst songs that I've they're heard. They're not. Like, I'm sorry, but they're like, not. Of like people that I hear. Yeah. Like I'm like, it's right up there with that. I mean, it's it's whack, but like compared to what everything else that's coming out. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. It's yo, it's really crazy. It's weird. Whoever, whoever I want to meet this I know. guy. How did you turn that fucking or, shit show or around? girl? Whoever it was that just turned it around and was like, "We're gonna work with this. Continue your antics. Here's the moves we're gonna make." And then people just started buying in. This girl was on Doctor Phil for like beating up her mom, and like threatened to beat up Doctor Phil. Yeah, or like everyone in the crowd. Catch them outside. Oh fuck! That shit is so funny. We're losing. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't know about losing, but... You want to know it's weird? It's like... Going viral is weird. It's a lot of pressure. It's I, like... I don't think I've gone viral. No, I haven't. I've gone viral. Yeah, people know you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're... I, I feel like more people know you than they would know me. Yeah. Because that vine... That the vine, Let Me Suck Your Titties vine... Is was so viral that like everyone's like seen that. Well, now my face is like a meme of me singing that yeah. song like with titties next to him. Yeah, like it's like everyone's seen that shit. Yeah. So and it's then like, when I put out the second one, that one went viral too. Has one point five million views on Twitter. Wow. Yeah. That's and then wild. when I put the the Drake Yodel Kid one out, that one has one point two million. You're a viral motherfucker. No, I've been going viral like recently. I don't. It's just getting lucky. You're hilarious. But the thing is, is like the only thing I don't like about going viral and like shit like that. It's always like, yo, where's this at? Where's that at? Where's this at? Do this one. Do that one. Do this. Do that. And you get that shit too. And it's like, leave me alone. Yeah, I I don't like. It doesn't really bother me because I know in my mind I'm like. I'm not gonna listen to you. But you have a way bigger following. Like, like I could still see who comments on my shit. Yeah, me too, dude. Everyone tells me hey, on every video on, that we post on the YouTube channel, uh, every fucking picture or something, every DM, it's always like there's always something attached of like, "Yo, do another people of Walmart," yeah. and I'm like, and it's like, pe- stop. It's just like, and it's not a lot of people. And it's like, uh, you know, they're cloud chasers, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like people be like, yo, like, yo, I want Frankie and Keith. I'm like, yo, we want Frankie and Keith too. <laughs> you guys think we don't? You yeah. guys think we don't want fucking two of the funniest guys in here? They have lives. Yeah, they got stuff going on. They got stuff going on. We want them in here every day if we can have them. Yeah. DeVito, we want, where's he? I want him too. 
Why are you coming at me? I don't do anything. It. I'm just here. I'm working like, here. Listen, Danny's funny and everything, but where the fuck is Frankie? I love that they started off so nice, too, because yeah. that actually means something to me. The no, it means nothing to me. No, because, because when people say shit like that to me, where it's like, yo, I've been following you for a long time, but, and I just want to go, shut up. Yeah. Like, yeah. just leave it at that, you know, because whatever you're about to say, you have no grounds to say that. I know. Like, but I'm about to tell you what to do. <laughs> Yo, Danny is hilarious, but yo, like four weeks in a row, it's like, all right, dude. Don't listen to don't, it. Don't listen to the show. <laughs> Honestly, yo, you've taught me so much. I like, could just be like, yo, don't respond to these people. You can't. But a part of me wants to be like, yo, dick. <laughs> don't listen to the show. Yeah. Just don't listen to it. I know. And I think people really think I'm afraid of that. Like, Like, people think, like... For the most part, I would say I'm very lucky because all the people that are like legitimate fans of the show, yeah, they're you know s- smart people. Yes, they're not these small percentage of people that are like, oh, well, then I'll just stop watching. Like, no, they, for you to say that 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 means that you actually think that I'm gonna give a shit. Yeah, if you, like, if, I don't care. If, if you comment that like on a YouTube, you're gonna get flamed, like by the rest of the community. Yeah. Like, they can be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, nobody fucking wants you. I've here. seen that. Like, on YouTube videos, someone would be like, yo, the show was better, like, back in the day. And, and then mad people would be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, be like, yo, shut the fuck up. I remember one, they were like, yo, it's like Danny again. And then somebody just goes, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I started dying laughing. Because it's like... Here's my thing, right? Yeah. Just, just like... And this is the truth. And I don't care if this is, like, offensive or whatever, because I'm not trying to be offensive. But it's like... I am the person who creates this. Yes. And then you just enjoy it. If And at whatever point you stop enjoying it, you stop watching it. That's how this works. It's just like anything else. But you don't get to come over here and go, here's what we should do. <laughs> Huddle up, guys. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put out seven in a row, idiots of the internet. All right. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. And that's why I'm this person who yeah. creates the stuff. You just enjoy it. My job is just to create stuff. You know, I'm not supposed to create stuff, at least in my mind, that I know, like, let's do this because people will enjoy it. Yeah. I do everything that I do because I think it's funny. And the thing is also, it's like, that's why you are where you are, though. Right. And I think that's why everyone who, who watches me, that's what I'm saying, like, everyone who watches me for the most part is just like, they get it. Yeah. And they're down. And like sometimes, I'm not saying I'm mad at anyone who's ever been like, yo, I kind of miss Mad Libs or whatever. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and I would say the same things. But the way it's worded sometimes is like, yo, you should do this. Or like, this was way better this way. Yeah. Or like, yo, you should. And it's like, yo, you don't get to do that. Yeah, like some, because like I'm some, not listening to you. Somebody last week was like, yo, tell more stories about growing up. I was like, yo, that's all we do on the show. <laughs> in, in my head. I'm like, dude, all we talk about is how, like, we were stupid pieces of shit when we were kids. Yeah. And then it's like... But it's also an excitement thing for them. It's like something was really funny. It's like, I just want to tell them, that, like, yo, they should do this again because I want to feel this feeling again. I get that. But it's... it's and I'm saying just the way people word it. Yes. When it becomes like, yo, do this, like a demand, I'm like, who the fuck are you? And it also, it ruins... I feel like it ruins it for everybody else because maybe you were going to do a Mad Lib video. You yeah. never know. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm feeling Mad Libs. Oh, this guy's telling me to do it? It almost makes me not want to do it. It doesn't make me not want to do it, but I'm just like, I if I've been able to do it for this long and like whatever, like, then I should, there's, I mean, I think it's safe to assume, like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know? I know how to whatever. But if that, if you don't enjoy it anymore, just don't, don't I listen. Know. I you just know? love it when they're always like, yo, we want Keith. I was like, yo, whenever Keith wants to come on. <laughs> It's not, it's, We're locking them out. Yeah, what we bar them from the fucking studio. Yeah, Frankie too. People got lives, man. Yeah, <laughs> I just like I, I want to say that, but I'm like, no, I can't. But I just did. But it's whatever. Yeah, I just like I don't feel bad. Well, like, I follow it, your lead though. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you said, it's like this is the umbrella you created. Right. You know what I mean, guys. I produce the show. That's why I'm here every week. All right. Now I'm gonna go cry. So affected. So affected. I try to tell people that all the time. And I, it actually never really got to me. 
when people would say mean stuff online. Now I feel bad that I brought it up then. Why? Oh, oh I thought you were going to be like, now I'm pissed. No, no, no. no. I, like, it doesn't bother me because I, I get it that also I have a, enough followers to where people think it'll just get lost. So it doesn't really matter what I'm saying. Right. Which isn't true. Because for the no, most part, you see not. a lot of it. Yeah. I would say you see a lot of it. And you think that people aren't noticing, but they they notice. Like, and I know I can see what some of the stuff you're saying, and it's like I don't take it personally because I realize they think either he's not going to read this, he's not going to see it, so I could just say fucking crazy shit right now. Right. But there was a time that someone said some wild shit, so I answered them, and I was like, I Yo. feel like I feel like on Twitter you're you're clap backable. Yeah, I'll t- but I don't really use Twitter that much anymore. But it was on, it was on Instagram, and someone had DM me something. And, All right, cool. Let me get that at though. But uh, <laughs> it was on it was on Instagram, and someone said something to me in DMs that was just like, I can tell they're not serious. Yeah. But they were just saying wild shit, and I just felt like being a father figure for a second. I was like, Wait, did I see this one? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, know I answered about. them and I was like, hey, I know you're probably joking. Yes. But like, this isn't the kind of stuff you say to someone you don't know. It was very bad too. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. And it, it, it crossed the line because it's like, it's one thing if you say stuff to me, but to include other people that I know in the stuff you're saying, that's yeah. a little crazy. It's like, all right, now you're like crossing a line. Like, cause I, again, I, I don't, that's my only trigger really. Like yeah. going after people that aren't me. And But and- I'm just saying like, when you cross the line like that, I just want to be like, listen, I know you're joking, but you don't say this to people. And like, I don't know why you're saying it because it's like yeah. a DM. Like, you're not going to get attention from this. No. I just don't get it. And I just told them, like, this is not something you say. And then they apologized. And I was just like, it's whatever. Like, yeah. But you're, it, it, you're it's still just a weird. Piece of shit like, how many times that, are you going to see, like, someone say something ridiculous and then someone answers them and then they go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think you were going to see that. It's like, why did you say well, it? Well, I, I had to do that. A couple times, and like I remember, just I did. I had the same approach. I was like, "Yo, you're a fucking loser, dude." See, I don't. I don't get mad like that. No, though. no, no. I got really fucking. Oh, mad. I know you do, but yeah. I don't handle it like that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm mad because like I really, I'm not mad. I'm just like, this is just not something you say to people that you don't know because like no. you would never say this to me. This person said something about my mother. Um, back in the day, she was in a vine of mine. Yeah, and. Somebody made a con- like message me about like my mother, and they said something that they were gonna like do to my mother. Yeah, and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> if I ever fucking see you." Like, I got so mad because it was about my mom. Right. You can say whatever. Yeah, I've had people send me DMs, be like, "Yo, what up, fat ass?" <laughs> and I'll laugh because I think that's funny. I think that's funny. Yo, funny things are just funny. I love, like, somebody hit me up the other day and was like, yo, it's good, man. Just hope you're doing well. Just being, uh, like, something. And then, like, they were like, all right, man. Just be like, see you in the psych ward or something. And I started cracking up. Funny things because, are just funny. And I funny, wrote back yeah. to them and I was like, this is funny. Yeah. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to butcher what they said. But what they said was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and then I remember because I did a post where I because I was two seventy now I'm two thirty and somebody wrote like still fat, <laughs> and I yo son I was dying. <laughs> See like that two, shit two is, words that shit is funny to me. Still fat is um, it's the best thing you could say in that situation. That still shit, fat that shit <laughs> is mad funny to me. Like if it's funny, yeah, it's, it's funny. I love it. I know. But like if you go out and like say you're like gonna harm my mom yeah that's not funny yeah like there's nothing you didn't even try yeah like you're just being like you're being a horrible person but being funny is just being funny yeah i read that shit on the toilet <laughs> it started still cracking fat. up still fat <laughs> I re- still fat and I, and I replied back to them i go yo this is the funniest comment I I've, I've done that a couple times too when like i, I see like it. when people shit i mean like, if it's funny <laughs> nobody loves it more than me yeah it's it, the only thing that sucks is like when people try to make fun of me, they use jokes that I've made about myself, and I'm like, you can't. It's not funny if I said it first. Yeah, get a little more creative. Yeah, be creative when you try to when you make fun of me. Like you know? the balls that to like call me still fat. Uh, I thought it was so amazing. It, it is. And like and the timing, <laughs> I was like, this is this is comedy. That's comedy to me. Yeah. Because this is taking like. You're taking like the piss out of the whole thing. I was like, that's what I love. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, still fat. It was great. But if you had added still fat, you fucking loser. It's like you lose all comedy. Yeah. You lo- now you now you now you're being an asshole. You can make me laugh, and that shit made me fucking hysterical. Like I'm telling you, crying almost because the way that I was reading positive, 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 boom. I was still like, fat. This is amazing. <laughs> I was like, I love that. That's hilarious. All right, to end the show, uh, let's get to the Patreon question. Though. Still fat. Still oh fat. man, that's so funny. I wish I thought of that. Yeah, hashtag still fat. <sighs> yeah, I'm about to get a sh- shirt. It says hashtag still fat. Hashtag still fat. That is funny. It's. It was. Uh, I loved it. Yeah. I gotta go find the person and follow them though. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh. So question. First question is from Troy Martin. Wait. What are we doing? Patreon questions. Patreon questions. Whoa. Uh, so you talked about if you were women for a day and if you would fuck each other to save the other person. So would you have sex with the each with each other while being a woman? So I guess if you were a woman for a day, would I bang you as a woman? Like, would you come to me and be like, yo, I'm a woman now? You trying to like... So this bi- person is basically asking me to transition and have sex with you? Yeah, but it's only for a day. Oh. Like, what if you're hot as hell? I'd, prob- I'd be like a thick Latina. Which I'm into. Yeah. So I'd probably get, end up getting real, probably. <laughs> <laughs> By me, though. Yeah, it's fine. I, I wouldn't want to know. It's you. No. I'll, I'll have, like, an alias. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um, what? Anna Riot <laughs> says, women and men doing the titty slash peck dance. Fan or not? I don't even know what that is. Like, when dudes go, like, like Terry Crews, like, bounces his tits. Oh, like I could do it, but not in this shirt because it's black. Um, no, not a fan. <laughs> not, not a fan. That's such a weird question. I don't know why I read that. One. Not a fan. I'm a fan of titties. <laughs> not a fan of dancing titties. I want to make them dance. Do you want to slap them? Yeah, around? no. Black, black. Uh, Amber. Uh, hold on. I just Amber Stastny. Uh, did you ever go through an emo phase? If no, describe if you thought it was cool or cringy. No, I did never went through an emo phase. I was the biggest hip hop kid of all time. I oh, had cornrows. I did like I didn't like emo music, but I do like like my chemical romance and shit. Yeah. And like I definitely had some like music. I had them stashed. Yeah, I I liked the music, yeah. but I was never like, yo, I'm about to paint these eyebrows oh not eyebrows of my, my <laughs> I'm about to do these this eyeliner right now, paint mascara. These, paint these eyebrows. <laughs> Why do like emo kids wear gas masks? I don't know. I can't even say that with gas masks. That was another great meme too, as well as those kids dancing, but it was to, like it was like the future. <laughs> and he was <laughs> they were, why do they wear like like a gas mask? I don't know. I don't know. Like what do you And I love how it's like they don't want to conform, but they're all conforming to not conforming. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to Mind me. Mind blown. But no, I didn't have an emo phase. Oh. Like my emo phases were like R and B. Like if I, if I was genuine st- differences, yeah. My whole life has changed. My whole life's changed since you came in. Came in. I knew back then. <laughs> back then. You were that special one. You, you were that special one. That was that was my like my ex girlfriend from like eighth grade's MySpace song. Damn. Yeah, she that broke, song's amazing. She broke my heart, Sorry. and then she and then I found out like the next year she was like into girls. But then she switched back. Probably. I'm just saying. I just, I we we were in eighth grade. We dated. Is that emasculating if somebody becomes a lesbian after you date them? I don't know. I thought it was gonna affect me more than it did. Like I didn't really care. I don't think so. At I all. actually was kind of like, yo, we could have, you know, you're in eighth grade. Anytime someone's like, oh, I'm into girls, she's like, oh, we could like fuck ten girls together or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we dated and then we broke up and then I saw her like a year or two later and found out she was now into girls straight lies yeah and I, you know i kind of wanted to be like was that me or but it's not you it's it's not you it's me it's not you it's me yeah, it's kind of <laughs> one of those things i guess um every girl i've ever gone out with is gone less was that eminem yes yeah it is angel trainer uh <laughs> what's the weirdest way a girl has gotten your attention um maybe walking out of the garden that girl scared the shit out of me what Remember we were walking. Oh yeah, she came flying out of nowhere. She almost closed. Oh my god! I was like, oh, I've never been more scared in my life. Yeah, you got frightened. 
Yeah, because she's. You were on the left side of me. I was closer to her. Yeah, she threw a clothesline. Yeah. We almost got clocked. She was like, wait. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, literally, my arms were up. I'm scared. Well, and I Joe know. looks at me. He's like, dude, put your arms down. Like, relax. You're a grown man. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, she's a fucking girl. Relax. You're fine. Even she was apologizing. She was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was like, like, you scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, I remember. And you had to take a dump really bad. Yes. <laughs> literally almost scared the shit out of me. <laughs> literally. That would have been. As soon as we walked out of the garden, I couldn't walk. Remember, I couldn't walk for like yeah. two steps. Oh, man. That was so funny. Ugh. Danny ran into a bathroom, blew it up. Blew it up. He goes, you don't want to be here for this? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> this kid blew it up. Uh, all right, last question. <laughs> Carlos Jimenez, what animal would you guys swap bodies with for a day? A rhino. Oh, that was a snap answer. What, have you thought about this before? Yeah, yeah. A Why rhino. a rhino? A rhino. For what? Impenetrable skin. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that fucking. First horn. of all, it's penetrable. That, that horn? Horn's cool. And Things have horns, though. Yeah, but I'll fuck that shit up. I, I, I want to be a rhino or an elephant. Damn, you want to see these, these power animals. Mm-hmm. I'll have a big-ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino's got large cods. Cods? Yeah. Is that a thing? Cods? No. <laughs> I just didn't... Uh, you you is, could tell we went to the Yankee game last night because we were fucking words off today. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah. Oh, elephant cock, dude. You ever seen an elephant's dick? Actually, yeah, I have. Oh, my God. It's like God. having another trunk. Why? Yeah, yeah. And I, they swing it. I know. I, I want to be an elephant because I just want a fucking monster cock. And you could you could kill anything in the wild. <laughs> like, you could kill anything. You wouldn't want to be like a I cheetah? I think elephant, no, elephants are the real fucking kings of the jungle. No, I've seen I've seen cheetahs get after it and you kill. You need four of them. Or like a lot. Yeah, we Bring your whole crew. Yeah, we will. No, nah, but you ever see elephants defend other elephants? It's crazy. No. Yeah. They're, these lions are fucking up this elephant. I'll send you the video. And then, like, just the, the elephant squad shows up and just starts fucking shit up. Damn. So yeah. you want to be an elephant? Yeah. You don't want to be anything that's, like, super fast? No, nah, because I've been fast before. See, this is all about the dick. No. It's all about the dick, dude. Oh, okay. I want a monster dick. Okay. <laughs> but you also have to smash elephants. It's fine. I like thick bitches. I guess so. All right. I don't know what I would be, to be honest. Oh, I would be a gorilla. Oh, gorillas are cool, too, and they fuck like humans. Yeah, and they're strong. They're they got ox. They got small dicks, though. Whatever. It works. It's for a day. Just knowing I can rip a human's head in half. I'll, fuck, I'll fucking yeah. just beat the... Yo, have you ever seen a gorilla? Yeah, dude. I feel like you they're capable of jumping... You ever seen them beat their chest? Yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. Yo. I want a gorilla. If you think you could be, like, if you were a gorilla, yeah, do you think you would have the attributes to be like the alpha gorilla? Yeah, you think you could be like, like, the main motherfucker? I think I have a lot of like leadership skills. I think you do too. I all I'm lacking is the I think the zero percent body fat. Yeah, and being able to flip. Cars. I think you lack, lack the aggression though. Oh, I can get aggressive. If if if. If I got to be aggressive, there's aggression. It's in there. I want to see you beat somebody up one day. Well, I hope no one else is watching so I don't go to prison. But right. That'd be nice. Just just for me. Yeah, that'd be great. I'll just fight somebody. Yeah. Get into a fight at the bar. You'll see me fucking kill somebody. Nice. We got <laughs> Break it. a fucking bottle or something. <laughs> All right. I think we can wrap this up. What were we going to say? Could be McGregor. Who you got? Uh, oh, I don't know. I got Connor in the second round. Knockout. I, my heart says Khabib just because he's been fighting, he's been in shape, yeah. been doing it. Connor has – obviously he was boxing whatever, but I do think he took some time off. Mm-hmm. He got all his money, yeah. partied, did whatever. During that time, Khabib is A lot focused. of this, I think. A lot of schneef. A lot of schneef. Uh, and he's got his own liquor now. He, still like, he drank like five glasses of whiskey at the fucking presser. Yeah, that guy's cutting weight. Yeah. Uh, so I want to go Khabib just for that reason, but I okay. do, I can definitely see Connor knocking him out and it's going to have to be got, within you, the first round. Do you have Khabib like decision or Khabib finishes him? He, he'll finish him, tap him. Tap him. Yeah. All right. But I'm, I would not be shocked if he fucking fucking slapped him. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking slapped him. Fucking. I fucking told a whole lot of you. Yeah. I fucking slap him. Yeah. All right. Where can they find you, Connor? 
They can find me at Daniel O'Priori on Instagram and Twitter, yeah? Uh, you guys can... Um, and if you don't, I swear to God, I will kill you down dead. And then we'll go from there. You guys can go to patreon.com <laughs> slash the basement yard to support the show. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash the basement yard. And go follow the Instagram at the basement yard for some clips and shit like that. And the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the basement yard. And that is all. We'll see you guys next time. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>